is a model of a compression planning session that came from a mining company out in the southwest. And they had, like so many organizations had, they had an implied process that everybody was not on the same page with. And they said, we have to sit down and get together on how we do things. And so up here is the topic card. And the topic cards are your subjects. And don't be surprised if you rewrite those topic cards several times to try and get clarity. I was listening to Charlie Rose recently, and uh, he had Bill Gates Sr. and Bill Gates Jr. on, and they told the story about how the first time Bill Gates, the son, met Warren Buffett. And somebody at a party said to the two of them, what do you think is the most important single word in your life? And both of them simultaneously answered one word, together, clarity. And that's what this whole process does, is help you get clarity, because then you can move. Topic card starts it out. Then the overall purpose is, what are you after? What are you trying to accomplish in specifics that can be measured and tracked? Then the purpose of the session. What are the core elements you want out of that session when you're working? So what, are, what do you walk away with? Not in vague generalities, but in real specifics. Now, down here, this will pay for you being here. If nothing else does, this non-purpose. What aren't you in that room to talk about work, about, work on, and think about? And haven't you all been part of some kind of meeting or something where people take off down all kinds of pathways and tracks, and they're talking about all kinds of things that could be interesting, but are they relevant to what you're there to try and focus on and resolve? So you're going to see many forms of non-purposes, and on your topics, you're going to be developing those non-purposes. Then they move into the critical background you need to participate. And you'll be doing this on your projects, figuring out what's absolutely essential that people understand and know. And we have artifacts up here, and you'll be doing that on your projects to help tell the story. If that old trite cliche of one picture is worth a thousand words, then what is the one picture or artifact? Or you see down here we have you know, something else that gives the sense of it. But in their company, well, it says Tonka here. I doubt they had Tonkas uh, out in this mining company because the, the size of this mine was such that it'd be like six shovelfuls would take of, of ore would be a room this size. And a human would come up about this high on, on the wheel. So it gives you a, a size dimension of what you're talking about. And that is so important to get the scope of what it is that you're about. Then in this, all, of, all over on this side was created ahead of the session. Then these are called headers. And headers are key elements, key sections. They break your topic down. And we've all heard that trite thing about the way you eat an elephant's a bite at a time, right? Well, what are the bites? And that's what headers are. And it's a key skill that, as you wrestle with that this afternoon, will take on more and more meaning. So what they did here is the purpose was to break down the elements of upgrading the planning. Now, don't worry about what it says here, because that was their issue. But they laid out these three items, then the one to 11, but not the yellow, not the subject matter. That's what the group participated in. So it was all lined up. You walked in. Here's the purpose. Here's what we're going to accomplish. Here's the background. Here's the structure. Does it make sense? Let's go to work. Now, I guarantee you there's groups that spend two hours fighting before they got this far. And then what you do is they work through it develop who are the key stakeholders that need to be involved in a planning process like this. And you can see on this one, uh, what is there? There's about 12 in different forms. And then they came over and said, who needs to be involved when? Because everybody doesn't need to be in each stage all the time. There's way too much of that groupiness stuff going on. Oh, we need to get everybody involved and all that stuff. We're against that. We say get the right people involved when they need to be involved for the right reasons. So then once this is done, it moves over into the action planning. Remember in our model, design, launch it, focus it down. Here it turns to action. Over on that board was the communications. Who needs to know? What do they need to know? And then over in this area was who needs to know what specifically 
are they going to accomplish? What output of that? By when are they going to have it done? Etc. Then they have, like we talked about, the end of the uh, sporting event, the evaluation. How do we do as a team? From start to finish, this one was an hour and 20 minutes. How much time do you think a lot of organizations would spend trying to resolve an issue like this? Well, yeah, Dave. If they ever did. It, <laughs> yes. And I would say the leadership issue, somebody said, is we have a critical process in our organization that is out of control, and we're going to put the right players together, and we're going to address it, resolve it, and come up with a way to implement it and get going on it.